this video i will answer you question number five from kenex pearson and excel a level exam exam was taken in january 2024 a beam has mass 30 kilogram and length 3 meters the beam rests on supports at c and d where ac equals 0.4 and db equals 0.4 as shown in figure 4 a person of mass 55 kilogram stands on the beam between c and d 30 kilogram is the mass of uh, beam and 55 kilogram is mass of the person that is standing on P at this point. The person is modeled as particle at the point P where CP equals x meters and value of x lies between 0 to 2.2. The beam is modeled as uniform rod resting in equilibrium in horizontal position using the model. Show that the magnitude of the reaction at C is 686-245x newton. So we need to use this diagram. I already drew this diagram here. Uh, here, it is given. It is a similar diagram. Now let's go back to the question again. Most important thing: uh, the mass of the mass of the beam is 30 kilogram, and it is uniform rod actually. This point is very important. If it is uniform rod, mass will lie at the center of the beam. Got it? And secondly, a uh, person is standing whose mass is 55 kg. He is standing, uh, stands on the beam between C and D. A person is modeled as particle at point P. That person is standing at P. That's it. This is uniform rod. Therefore, weight of the beam acts at the midpoint. Let me draw the weight force. And mass of the beam is 30 kilogram therefore weight will be 30 g according to the formula of weight that is mg m is 30 and g is the gravitational acceleration so this is the weight force you will draw at the midpoint this is m the person is standing at point p whose weight is 55 kilogram therefore the weight force for the person will be downwards like that and we can represent it by 55 g and the reaction forces that are acting are always acting upwards from this spot. So at this point, the reaction force acts upwards, it will be RC. And reaction force at point D will be like that. It acts upwards and we can represent it by RD. So these are the forces acting on this system. Let's move on. We want to find the value of RC actually. Let's go back to the question. Show that the magnitude of the reaction, magnitude of the reaction at C is this one. Therefore, you have to find RC. That's it. So you need to find that perpendicular distance from the pivot for all these forces. Uh, this length could be found easily. From C to D, this length will be for sure. 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 will be subtracted from 3. You will get this length. It will be 2.2 because this length is 0 0.4 this length is 0 0.4 total length is 3 you will uh, subtract these two values from 3 you get this this answer so this is the distance perpendicular distance of c from point d now we know that uh, this is the midpoint therefore this length will be 1.5 for sure from this to that and this length is given and you could get easily this length and this distance from d distance of force uh, 30 uh, 30 g from d will be subtract uh, 0 0.4 from 1.5 you get the answer 1.1 so this is 1.1 1.1 meters now only one force left uh, you need to find this length as well from here to here this length will be you could find easily because from here to here it is 2.2 uh, and c to p is x this length is x if you subtract x from 2.2 you will get this length 2.2 minus x so these are the perpendicular distances uh, of the forces from the pivot now apply the moment formula about point d taking moments about point d taking moments about d look at here in the diagram this force and this one about t they are rotating this one about d anti-clockwise 
Got it? These two forces are producing anti-clockwise rotation. And this force is producing clockwise. And we know that clockwise moment equals to anti-clockwise moment. So we will write the clockwise moment. Clockwise moment will be RC multiply the perpendicular distance from the pivot. RC will multiply by 2.2. Equals this is the clock, clockwise moment. And for these two forces, 30G is, will multiply by 1.1. This is the length, the distance, perpendicular distance from D. 1.1 plus the other force is 55G. It will be multiplied by 2.2 minus x. Now we will solve for RC. Just expand the brackets. Use the value for G as 9.8. G equals to 9.8. Uh, once you write these values in your calculator, use this value for G, 9.8. And we get the answer here. 30 multiply 9.8 multiply 1.1 equals 323.4 plus 55 multiply 9.8 will is 539. And then you multiply 539 by 2.2. We get the answer 1185.8. And this is 539. 539 will multiply with X. We get the answer negative 539x and on the left side it is r multiplied 2.2 uh, this is rc rc multiplied 2.2 is equals to we will simplify these two numbers answer is 1509.2 minus 539x now divide by 2.2 rc will be equals get the answer it is 686 minus divide by 2.2 245x. This is as required. So first part is done. For the next part, the magnitude of the reaction at C is 4 times the magnitude of the reaction at D. Using the model, find the value of x. Magnitude of reaction at C is 4 times the magnitude of reaction at D means Rc is equals to 4 times Rd. This is given in the question. By using this fact, we will solve uh, this part easily. For second part, it is given that RC is equals to 4 times RD. Let's move back to the figure. If you look at here, because the system is in equilibrium, therefore upward forces will be equals to downward forces. Here upward forces are RC and RD and downward forces are 55 and 30G. 55G and 30G. Uh, 30G. Therefore we can write here, we can write here upward forces equals to downward forces. Upward forces are RC plus RD equals downward forces are 55G and 30G. Um, as uh, we got the value of RC, we don't have the value for RD, therefore you should uh, replace the value of RD from here in terms of RC. You can get the value of RD from here. This will be equals to 1 over 4 RC. Uh, so RC plus 1 over 4 RC will be equals to 85 G. Solving left uh, left hand side 1 plus 1 over 4 is uh, 5 over 4 RC and it is equals to 85 G and RC will be equals to 85 G multiply 4 over 5 we got the answer 666.4 now you can replace the value of RC from previous uh, previous part that is 686 minus 204 686 minus 245x equals to 666.4 take this value on right side and bring this one on the left side so it will be 686 minus 666.4 equals to 245x get the result answer is 19.6 equals to 245x now you divide uh, this value with 245 x will be equals to 0 0.08 so this is the answer for second part part b is done 
for the next part the person steps off the beam and places the package of mass m kilogram at a he steps off from the beam the package is modeled as vertical at the point a the beam is now on the point of tilting about c using the model find the value of m now you need to find m look at this diagram we have to do some changes here because this uh, person is a uh, step off from the beam therefore this weight is no more over here okay now uh, this beam is AB and mass is put over here at point A so mass always acts downwards vertically downward so here the mass will be the weight will be mg and it is acting downward here at point A and also uh, it is at the point of tilting about C. Tilting about C means uh, it will lift over here. It is just lift over here. So no more action over there at point T. So it will be zero. So these are the changes. Uh, we can remove this one as well. That's it. No need for it. No need for this length and distance as well. If you take the moment about C, you will not take this force. Uh, and RD is already zero because it will tilt about C. So here will be no reaction and only two forces are acting here got it this distance is given that is 0 0.4 we need to find out this distance as well uh, because it is at the midpoint 1.5 therefore this distance will be 1.1 got it so this distance multiply this force will give you this force is uh, making clockwise rotation and this force is making anti-clockwise rotation and mg multiply 0 0.4 that's it For the last part, C at point of tilting, at point of tilting about C, RD will be equals to zero. Now taking moments about C, MG will multiply its perpendicular distance that is 0 0.4, and there is another force that is the weight. Uh, here 30g will multiply by 1.1 30g multiply 1.1 g will be cancelled out from both sides this g is cancelled out and you can get the value of m from here 30 multiply 1.1 divide by 0 0.4 and answer will be 82.5 kilogram so this is 82.5 kilogram that's it. This is the mass. This is all about question number five. Hopefully you understand it. If you don't understand, please write in the comment box.